Have you ever taken a course just to forget everything right after the lecture ended? Well, that's the last thing that we want to happen with all of your hard work. Let's look into the science of learning a bit so that our students can retain what they learn in your course and beyond. Hi again, I'm Chase DeMarco, and I wanted to share with you some of the empiric and evidence-based techniques that can increase your learner's retention. I've always had an interest in how the mind works, and after completing my degree in educational psychology, I began to see gaps in what the literature was saying and how course rooms are generally and actually run. In fact, this is part of the reason that I began the Medical Nemonist podcast in 2019. And since then, I've interviewed dozens of educators and physicians about effective learning. Since then, many interesting strategies and tactics have been explored and taught to students in a variety of healthcare professions. Let's take a look at a few of these. Many in medical education have become great advocates for spaced repetition in medical education. This is one of the most evidence-based approaches to learning content and remembering it over a long period of time. This approach helps to overcome the forgetting curve, which plagues all of human memory. But combining spacing out your studies and utilizing retrieval practice is the way to go. In speech, there's a rhetoric device called the illusory truth effect. And it basically states that if you say something three times, most people will believe it no matter how ridiculous it might seem. We see this used in politics and viral posts, but we can also use similar principles for positive gains. Repeating important information several times within our study materials, encouraging the use of flashcards, and other tactics can help learners remember more effectively. There are several evidence-based techniques and strategies according to cognitive psychology that we can include, such as interleaving, concrete examples, elaboration, and dual coding. We won't go into great detail on each of these in this module, but check out the module resources for more information on space repetition and other evidence-based learning methods. Immediate feedback is vital for effective learning and error corrections. In any asynchronous classroom, this is best handled by end-of-module quizzes. These short assessments allow students to test small chunks of information and fix any errors or gaps in their knowledge immediately. The major weakness in chapter or module quizzes is that students often forget material shortly after that assessment. So to combat this, consider making your quizzes comprehensive. Adding topics from all past modules and even increasing the difficulty is a great way to keep learners on their toes. They might not like this format during the course, but if it's required information on the board exams or something similar, they'll appreciate doing difficult answers now for ease later. You can also finish off your course with a full-length comprehensive exam. These can take a long time to create, but proper assessment throughout your course will lead to more successful students. Also, consider taking examples from textbook chapter quizzes, online question banks, and even flashcard repositories. Although you want to make each topic and question style cohesive with your other material, this can be a good starting point and give you ideas to embed within your exams. You can also change these as needed later on, so don't worry about making mistakes or forgetting a point or two right now. There are many degrees of learning, from superficial to being an expert in the field. And for healthcare, we often aim closer to the mastery level of learning for certain topics, while others' superficial knowledge is fine. Determine ahead of time, based on your course material and desired outcomes, which topics fall into which level of knowledge. There are also some interesting methods for using conditional logic for certain quiz platforms, including third-party platforms that we have available. And this allows for a certain range of questions to be displayed depending on previous answers given. This can be used to create your own destiny type of algorithm questions, or even display easier or more difficult questions based on the previous answers given. There's no single approach to mastery learning, so have some fun with it and discuss this topic on the Academy discussion board with other instructors and learners. It's important to always add an introductory page to your course to help explain learner expectations and supply information about yourself. You can copy and paste your credentials, link back to an academic profile or CV, or connect to your LinkedIn profile. Allowing your learners to get to know you and your background will help add credibility to the course topic. The LMS that we currently use has a built-in community feature as well that allows all users within the academy to discuss 
interesting topics and share ideas. Learners and educators can come together, share feedback, make recommendations, and learn together. Feel free to start a topic thread within the community forum and request your learners go to that thread to begin group discussions that might benefit others in the academy as well. It's a great way to let learners that haven't registered for your course gain insights about the topics discussed in your course and see if it might be right for them to join that next. Within each course lesson, we also have two great features for increased engagement. The first is the notes feature. Notes are private and only seen by the individual that creates them. Referring to these notes within your material can help prevent passive learning on the part of your students. And the other is the discussions feature. This is a lesson specific discussion board where learners can connect with you and others within that course and ask specific questions and gain deeper knowledge. This is a great way to get mastery level by asking high level questions to the course participants, instructors, or teaching assistants. You can start off the conversation by adding your own questions here, add links, or even request feedback about that lesson. One more fun and unique way to increase learner retention is to add critical thinking games and thought experiments. These can be relevant to the field of study or even make them think outside of the box. It might be more fun to imagine the ways that Wolverine's healing powers work than to explain several stages of wound healing in pathology. Or maybe, instead of discussing nutrition directly, ask the learners how a cyborg might sustain nutrients to its brain and what those nutrients might be. Anatomy can be pretty dry sometimes, so perhaps compare human anatomy to that of other animals. This compare and contrast aspect especially if given within the evolutionary biology perspective, can really help bring in novel ways of looking at sometimes boring content. I hope this gives you a few ideas of how to improve learner engagement and really make your material stick. We have many more resources in this module for you to explore for further ideas and the science behind them. I'd like to take the time now to request a small favor from you. If you have enjoyed this content or MEU in general, please let us know by liking these videos or leave a review on our Facebook page. If you have any colleagues that might be interested in this material as well, please do share. Let's grow this network together.